Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So again, welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. Today we are going to start with some, uh, continue with some more basic data structures, inbuilt data structures in Ruby. So let's start with, so let's create a string A and type it as hello world. Now simply we can print this string onto the console by using port SA. So you can, first I'll, uh, you can type ruby ds.rb and this would run the program and it says hello world, perfectly fine. You could also initialize the string using the uh, string in build class string dot new hello world. Okay. Now instead of a, I'm printing I am printing b. And now I'll clear this and I'll say put sb and it says hello dot uh, hello world and I, like it's the same output as the previous one. So hello world hello world are perfectly fine. Now I can type put s a is equal, equal to b if they both are equal so it should return true so it returns true so it returns perfectly fine so it returns perfectly fine true is the correct answer for this now you could also type put s a dot length so let's see the output of this so it turns out to be 11 good yeah now you could also do a dot size uh, you can and the both of them turn 11 so the both of them work with the same thing so now you can you can also type a dot uh, one thing I, uh, I'll show you there is a method and now uh, just for a second you I'll comment both of them uh, okay I'll comment out and I'll make an array C and this is an array one two three and I'll put as c dot include include uh, what does it include what I want to check does it include 2 okay so I'll it returns true okay so yes it includes true the same way you can do it for strings also so you can do this both same way you can do it for strings also so I'll do a dot include this character so oh, it should return true. The same it turns for this a also. So the include method is used for both strings and arrays. Now, uh, since I don't need this, okay. So I'll remove this. Yeah. So now what I can do, uh, uh, you want to increase the uh, access the first character. You can simply say a of zero. So this would give you the particular index. So I'm showing you this gives me first character. Now uh, to access the last character, you can do either a dot length minus one. So this would also work perfectly fine. Okay, it runs it gives you the last character, but you could also use negative slicing in string. Uh, string, like in Ruby, there is a negative slicing which returns you from the end. Okay, minus one is the last one. Minus two, minus three, minus four. You keep on going like this. Okay, so I'll show you. Now it also gives the last character. So this is the two ways you can manipulate strings in Ruby. Uh, now, one we are left with some another command such as some basic is a dot upcase, okay, and a dot uh, put as a dot downcase. So first, I'll do one by one. Now, a dot upcase returns upper string, and a dot downcase returns the uh, lower case so by default it was lower okay now i'll do a dot down uh, a dot up case i'll do put s a so here you might see sorry so now here you see that i did a dot up case but then put s a didn't turn out to be the one in the upper at uh, uh, upper capital letters so for that you need to you put an explanation mark which is all uh, now this would what it will do this it will now do the inbuilt operation within that string so see the output of this now it converts the default a to upcase as well okay so so this is good so now we can move to hash maps so hash maps is like grades is equal to hash dot new okay now you can do grades of 10 is equal to a plus 
and grades of 9 is equal to A and grades of 8 is equal to B. Now let's put S grades. So here is the hash map for the 10 is A plus, 9 is A and 8 is B. Now let's put as grades of 10. Okay. Uh, this should give us A plus. Perfectly fine. So this is how we can use it. But what if I do grades of 7? So grades of 7 is not defined. And when I run this, it gives me nothing. So to avoid that, you can use grades default if it is not default I'll do improve okay now this would tend out to be improved now I'll run this again and it says improve okay so this is how I can uh, set the default value okay now I can uh, use uh, this is good now I will uh, comment this out a is equal to hash dot new and B is equal to hash dot new now a of 0 is equal to 1 just I'm assigning some random values or so let this be a b of 0 is also a okay yeah now I'll do put s I'll do put s a and put s b so Initialize constant B uh, like line number 15. Okay, let me check what's the issue. So, uh, like there was some, like uh, it was like I, I might have not saved the file. Uh, like uh, A is equal to hash dot new, B is equal to hash dot new, A of 0 is equal to A and B of 0 A. When I put S, A, and B, okay. So basically when I put S A and put S B, so both of the same are equal, both of the hash maps are equal. So I can also compare them using an equal to operator. So this gives out me the output true. Okay. Now, now we could also like, now it's perfectly fine. Uh, now let's uh, move to this, this hash map as well. Now I can do put S grades dot length. So this would give me the same like okay I had to uncomment this sorry yeah so now I'll put grade short length it's 3 and I'll do grade short size it would also return me 3 now I can do put s grade dot 2 underscore a and and it should me return like this as a string. Uh, sorry, it, it converts this to an array. So this is also uh, fine. So this is how you can do it. And one thing because I converted this uh, this to an array. Okay. So I told you uh, you could also if you want to see in other way around you could do this. You can store this inside a variable x and you can print x okay so this is how we can do it okay so this is how you convert into an array and one uh, uh, one small exercise we can have right now uh, <coughs> uh, you could also do this as well put a s great dot has underscore value so this worked as like I told you the one like we had in uh, like string that is include. So it does it has a value 10 as a key. Okay, so okay, let's uh, uh, okay, so this is returning false. Uh, uh, like uh, this is a value, sorry. So this is how you can do it. So 10 is not a value, it is a key. So for that, you can run this true okay so this is how you can do it for key and value so by mistake i had uh, like uh, so like did it for uh has key and has value so you can understand for key and value but 
So let's move to a very small exercise. Since we covered strings and hash map in, in this, string is equal to hello world. So let's create a program to crown the frequency. So first creates a fre frequency as a hash map. Frequency is equal to hash frequency is equal to hash dot new. So this would maintain the frequency by initially the frequency should be frequency dot default is equal to zero. Now we do a s dot eat underscore care. We'll make a do and I have the value. Okay. Okay. I have the value then frequency dot val plus equal to equal to one. And I can end this loop and simply put as frequency. Now let me clear this loop and run this. So here I have got all the frequency of the particular graph. So thank you everyone for watching this. So it was a simple exercise. Make sure you uh, do this else it will throw error. This will throw error because you need to initialize frequency of default to zero. Else it will throw error because uh, either you can also put a try catch statement if statement inside this but this is a better way of doing it so thank you everyone for watching this so uh, i hope to see you again in the next video. thank you